we head into Halloween week, tales of ghosts and goblins aren't the only scary stories to remember. Our money man, Bob Ingram from Ameriprise Financial, is here with some other Halloween tales. All right, so you've got some stories for us that hopefully, you know, I know probably sound scary, but certainly they're very real and something that we can learn from. There, there are. And, and the, unfortunately, an all too common one is really about identity theft mm -hmm. and, and, you know, having information stolen from, from you, whether it's credit cards and email hacking or actually someone opening up credit or opening up accounts in, in a person's name, you know, we've all been impacted in some way or heard somebody or knew somebody that's been uh, been impacted. So it's something you really need to still make sure that you're, you're careful with and whether it's paper information, statements, things that you need to get rid of, you're throwing things away, you know, obviously we want to try to shred those, but online protection, you know, things that we're doing now, we have so many things with social media, with smartphones, mm -hmm. it's so important to manage that. And you want to make sure if you ever have to use data online, if you're entering transactions and things, you want to do that through a secure site. Great way to, to see if, it, if a site is secure, of course, know the site. You've got to know what you're using and, and what you're entering. But also the, uh, the prefix, the HTTP, look for HTTPS, which usually indicates a, a secure site. And also a little padlock on the bottom uh, right-hand corner of the status that. bar mm -hmm. is another great indicator that, that it's there. When you're going through and you're using passwords, you know, I know we have so many passwords that we have to deal with and there's always, you know, prompts to change things, but it really is so important to refresh and to keep those passwords new and different and vary them across different types of accounts. If you have all your financial information and using the same password for all those different accounts, if one person, you know, happens to hack an account and actually gets the password and gets through, they may try to use that across different financial uh, institutions. And, and change can, them every and so change often. them every so often. So not only that, when you're actually going through and you're reviewing your statements, reviewing your online accounts, look for, you know, suspicious activity, look for things that might be a little bit out of place. A lot of companies are doing a better job in, in you know, doing more things to try to make those alerts and try to figure out when there's suspicious activity. Th there's an online site, actually, an online uh, transaction processing site that I've used, and recently, I actually got uh, a little alert saying that my account has been uh, frozen mm -hmm. because of something. And I, I called up and I talked to the person. They said, well, there's a, there was a login attempt internationally. I wasn't in, out of the country at that time. Fortunately, there was nothing that was, you know, was taken or there was no uh, compromise. But it's something that you just want to be aware of there. And then use fraud alerts. You know, if you have uh, transaction activity in bank accounts and credit cards, if something, if, if a transaction hits, you know, a certain minimum amount, Make sure that you have an alert that says, you know, you get an email or something or, or a text of what uh, the transaction went through so you can keep a track of what's going through. And speaking of credit cards, what about when it comes to debt? You know, certainly that can be so overwhelming for so many of us. It, it is. And you really want to make sure that you're, you know, doing a good job reducing the debt and then working to how you're managing debt on an ongoing basis. So if you're trying to pay things down, start with the highest interest rate first sure. and work that down. As you pay that, uh, that particular account or card down, then you can take that amount that you're paying there and roll that into the next payment and so on and so forth. Um, you also want to make sure that you're, you're careful about, uh, you know, accounts that offer, you know, tra uh, transfers and low interest, uh, zero interest offers and things of that sort. They can be very attractive and you can utilize them well, mm -hmm. but usually what it means is you have to pay off the balance by that end date. And if you don't, it's retroactive. Let's say retail store accounts and cards that, that offer those things, you know, furniture stores, things of that sort. You may want to make sure you're paying all those things uh, down appropriately uh, as well. So there's a lot of things to, to consider and, uh, you know, and make sure that you're you're in a good position. All right. Well, you have prepared us. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. We'll see you back here next week. We'll be right back.